Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing a new look Indiana Pacers rebuild in NBA 2K24. So Indiana Pacers really didn't do anything much in the offseason until like two moves, I believe. So so yeah, they still have Terry Sombra. They extended Siakam way before free agency even started, like a, a long time before free agency started, man. He was already locked up. They um they still need to re-sign Melton, which I think that'll come really, really soon. I um, just don't know when they did resign Obi Toppin as well for your six mil, which is really good contract. They also um, they're yet to resign TJ McConnell, which he played amazing in the conference final. So I wonder what his extension is going to look like, or if he's, he's going to even get one. But we'll see. They extended Andrew Nimhard like a couple days ago, which is really cool. Nimhard, um, yeah. So Nimhard, another guy that played great in the conference finals. He got a really good contract from the Pacers. They um, they also signed James Wiseman. Now I don't know um, how or why that they did did this, but I'm guessing for like a third string center option, maybe take a shot on. If Isaiah Jacks isn't good, they have like James Wiseman. I don't know if he can even be can even be like depended on if Isaiah Jacks misses time. In my opinion, they need a really good backup center. I feel they should have went hunting for that. But if they believe in Isaiah Jackson could be that in a full role, I guess that's cool. But. They also have guys like Jairus Walker, Ben Shepard, two guys that I think could be really good pieces for the Pacers if they just develop them, which could be cool. Jairus Walker eventually is going to need to get some playing time. I hope he does. But with the re-signing of Obi Toppin and Siakam in his path, what position that does that give Jairus Walker for him to get playing time? I should have no clue. They also went ahead and drafted Johnny Furphy, Tristan Newton, and um, Freeman here, so they dropped the three rookies. Um, Tristan New, and I feel like was a steal in my opinion. Uh, uh, the second round, I picked 19. Johnny Furphy, another really good player that was projected to go on the first round, but he fell all the way to the second round. Um, and then Freeman here, uh, another really good pick with Big 20. So in my opinion, it was a good offseason. They didn't really do much, but they did do the little things to improve their team. Tyrese Halliburton apparently is going to prove the doubters wrong um, for saying like the first half of the season was a fluke. But we'll definitely see. He's still 24 hours a lot of time. Like a lot of time. He's not even in his prime yet. But like I said, they also did sign James Johnson like a couple days ago as well. But since he retired on me, I um, I don't really you know I really I don't really feel like getting him back. And uh, if we do get him back, they already have 15 players in our team, so it's gonna have to cut him immediately again. So James Johnson will not come back. And he was a really good vet for this team. If I did, you know, do the thing to get him back, I would have to cut him immediately. So it doesn't make any sense. So I'll just let him go. Gonna straight into player progression now, where we have three guys coming back, which I which I hate. But Tyrus Halliburton's going up. Let's go. Siakam is going up. Miles Turner is going down. Interesting. We got Benedict Madsen going up. Andrew Nimar going up to an 81. We got DJ McConnell going down. Wiseman going up. So right now Wiseman is really high. Over on Isaiah Jackson. We got Ben Shepard going up to a 77. We got Jairus Walker going up to a 76. We got Oscar. And then, um, obviously, Isaiah Wong, Quentin Jackson going up. So, we'll do something like that. We can head into the season. I actually have no clue how this rotation is going to look like. I haven't rebuilt at this team since they got eliminated to the playoffs. really the case with both, all these teams, really. And, yeah, also, my share scenario. So I don't know how to fix it. Nobody ever told me what to do, how to fix it. If you're wondering what I'm talking about. So, basically, I try to, you know, upload the share scenario. It's updated, everything, the draft, literally everything, you can see that at the bottom right there, everything is updated. I try to upload this scenario, I try to save it, but it just does some weird glitch thing like that when I press select, like, new share scenario, it updates the world, it just does that. I, don't, I have no clue, but please somebody show me what to do. But now I have to cut three players, and that's why I said, hey, when they come out to the call, I'm out to Quentin, I believe these guys are, like, on a two-way contract anyway. So, like, I would love to, like, release them and then sign them to a two-way. That's cool. So, Isaiah Wong and then Oscar, I'll release them and they'll sign them right back to a two-way contract. That's fine. That's what I'll do. Then, we'll look at the rotation. I'll sign those guys to a two-way contract. Then, I'll see you. That's the end of the season. So, we got Halliburton, Nimhard, Matherin, Siakam, Mousner, a really good starting five. We have Obi Top and DJ McConnell, Nee Smith, Wiseman, Isaiah Jackson, either of Chasen. That leaves Ben Shepard as well and Jairus Walker. This sucks really bad. Um, all right, so I guess we're gonna have to run a ten-man rotation. We could even run eleven-man, but 
I guess Isaiah Jackson won't be in there. I know Isaiah Jackson is actually really good in 2K. That's why it sucks. But I do 100% want to play Ben Shepard at least at least 11 minutes per game. I feel like he deserves it. But I still do want to play guys. So I still do want to play Isaiah Jackson, Jairus Walker. But how are we going to do that? Do we just completely cut Wiseman out of the rotation? I mean, since he's a 79, I guess we keep him, right? In the rotation. Jairus Walker, we can... I do still want to play him. We send him to the G League. It would suck, too. I, I I don't want to send him to the G League, though. When, I guess we'll send Tristan Newton down there, right? We'll just keep it like that, right? We need him to develop. So Tristan Newton, Freeman, and then get send those guys out to Johnny Furphy. Instead of Freeman, I guess I'll send Johnny Furphy down there. And then, yeah, it's really what we're gonna have to do. So yeah, Jarris Walker out there chasing hurts. We have too many forwards that'll play above him right now, like Matherin, Neesmith, and then Siakam and Obi Toppin. There's like so many guys. So I guess we'll just roll like that, right? And I'll see you guys at the end of this season after I sign those two way contracts. Look at Don, she's your MVP right here, Zach Rizache, six men coming for a junior, Depoy, Wimby, most approved, Ahmed Thompson, clutch player going to Trey Young, coach of uh, the year going to Rick Carlisle, we went 16-22 and 22 on this season, which is amazing, I didn't realize we played 34 years, and then he's a whole coach, I didn't, I didn't even notice that, John Murphy, executive, but wow, um, yeah, 16-22 and 22 is actually amazing, uh, uh, Halliburton made All-NBA 13, All-Defensive team, he's an All-Rookie first team, and here's your all rookie second team. So, we finish off the one seed in the Eastern Conference. This is the ideal scenario for the Indiana Pacers. There's a good in 2K anyway, so I'm not really that surprised, but that's a great start to this rebuild. So, 21 from Terry Tallenburn with 10 and a half assists, 18 from Siakam, 13 from Toppin, we had 13 from Benedict Matherin, 12 from Off Center, we got 10 from Andrew Nimhart, 9.5 from Wiseman with 6 rebounds. It's okay, I guess. We got 8 from Neesmith, 8 from TJ McConnell. We had about 8 from Ben Shepard, or 5 from Ben Shepard. And then that's your rotation. So, absolutely, though, they actually want to start Ben Shepard over Andrew Nimhart in the playoffs, which is actually very interesting. Man, I guess we can allow it. They shrink our rotation down to a non rotation. So, we'll do that. The benchization will go down a bit. I'm not going to lie. So, we'll do that. That kicks wise in my rotation. Also, I extended TJ McConnell at the deadline. About eight points and six assists off the bench with one steal is absolutely amazing production, in my opinion, off the bench. That's crazy. Um, he didn't wasn't asked for that much, so it's a three, it's a four million dollar three year deal. So it'll be afraid not the age of thirty seven. Most, most likely, we don't keep that contract until the age of thirty seven. We'll most likely trade him because he will progress. But I just wanted to lock him up long for now. So I just wanted to lock him up. It's all good. We got Boston around one, so even though this team is a playing team, this team is still really good. Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Porzingis, Bam Pritchard, Luke Cornett, Al Horford, Sam Hauser. I wouldn't be surprised if we did get bounced around. Hopefully we don't, though. Game one, they're going to take. Game two, we even it up. Game three, we go up 2-1. to one. We're going to go up 3-1, to one, and we are going to beat the Boston Celtics in five to play the Cavaliers with Garland, Mitchell, Okoro, Mobley, Jared Allen, Kiris LeVert, Max Juice, Greg Porter, Sam Burrell, and Ty Jerome. So Cavaliers team is actually going to be really – they want to go by starting Nimhard. Okay, cool, because Nimhard is actually good in the playoffs. So not – wait, why is Wiseman in rotation? Oh, okay, so Ben Shepard. It makes no sense to no. We're we're not we're not doing that, Sally. I feel like we get shrink our rotation. I definitely think we could, but I no. Nah, this rotation is kind of weird. I'm not playing Jairus Walker. That hasn't played all season. All right. I, I mean, I guess we'll do this. So all right. So okay, game one, they're gonna take game two. All right. But we, we might be cooked. Yeah, we're down to the we're down to this girl. Eight man rotation. Here we go. Man. We come at off the desert. I doubt we could. But we did take a step back if we are gonna lose in round two. I really thought we we're gonna win the finals this year based off how good we were. But yeah, Sal, we're gonna get swept by the Cavaliers. Okay, well, I mean, I guess the Cavaliers are good, so I can't really be too surprised because they win the championship. Guess I don't feel too bad we lost to the team that won the championship. LeBron, I'm gonna retire, Russell Westbrook, DeAndre Jordan, some other guys. But I don't think we even have a first round pick in the option. Yeah, we do not. Uh, we can check real quick. We have picked 29. So we do have a first, but it's basically not even a good first round pick at all. Literally the late late 30s, literally the last pick of the draft. All right, so we got to figure out how we can improve this team. Halliburton's at 95. He's cool. 
Siakam and Halliburton aren't going anywhere. Um, I do we need it. We saw Mal Turner, obviously. We need to bring back Matherin. I don't really know how or what we can do to improve this. I might have one. I need to get a better center in the building, or just a better backup center, in my opinion. So we can just fill out the coaching staff. I'm not going to fire a Carlisle since I guess he was the coach of the year, obviously. But I don't know one thing we could do is we could get a better big here. It's, it's a bigger, a better backup center here than like Isaiah Jackson or, you know, James Wiseman. Maybe you James Wiseman contract to get a better center before draft night because um, the league does allow you to trade your picks on draft night. So if you can maybe, you know, throw pick 29, maybe like James Wiseman or somebody like that. For a better big, I am looking to do that. All right, so I was looking around the league. I should have a couple options in mind. And James Wiseman has incredible trade value for whatever reason. I mean, six, nine points and six rebounds. I mean, I, I guess if that's worth three stars, I guess. So, like I said, I'm looking to get a better center here. So, Drummond would be an incredible option, but I think it's going to progress. Um, I mean, look around the league. I guess we should get traits this. So, Zubash was, you know, I thought of Zubash, but it feels like I get him like in every single rebuild, in my opinion. But you can't deny the talent and, you know, how good he is. So I honestly wouldn't be too, I, you can't be too mad if I do get a guy like him. So, oh, uh, Kong Wu is here. We can get, all right, so. We got, like, I mean, Kessler was a guy that obviously, you know, the Jazz were willing to trade for whatever reason. So. If they can opt into that team option, which they probably will, and then we get Walker Kessler, we can, you know, discuss the Jazz, because for some reason he has incredible trade values. Really, we can get any backup center we realistically want. But the most realistic options that I had in mind was the Portland Trailblazers, Robert Williams, make a 13 mil. We can extend them. It's cool. Make it six points to eight rebounds, one block per game. If he can do this off the bench, this will be, in my opinion, better production. Him playing for a winning team might, you know, a little make him putting up better stats. And the one other option was Alki. Alki did not have another option, so or yeah, uh, yeah. So it was either Robert Williams or obviously even Zubat. So I actually I know Zubat just really would be the better option. He's making 13 million, um, to put up 13 or 11 off the you know starting. And we can take the salary on. I would love to get Zubac. I'm not going to lie. He would fit absolutely perfectly off the bench for this team. But it feels like I get Zubac all the time. So I'm going to change it up this time to get Robert Wands. So Robert Wands also gets an add a lot in this game for whatever reason. I guess he's a year younger. And I guess I they got the same amount of value. So I guess it wouldn't be too hard to get him. We can just throw Wiseman, pick 30. And then, not, not actually pick 30. Our second round pick 30. And then one more second to get Robert Williams. As for some reason, I'll trade override on, but they want, oh, I'm not trading two first. You got to be out of your freaking mind if I'm trading two first, Robert Williams, okay. Um, I guess I will be able to maybe trade our rookie, I guess. We could opt into that team option for a second. Um, I'll trade, I'll turn trade override on because I think I had that go because my share scenario makes sense now. Okay, so we'll turn that off and then, oh, dang, over oh, I almost had salary cap off heading into the draft. You know how bad that would be? like anybody would be getting crazy contracts so now we probably can't actually take on um robert one's contract uh actually we could okay then we can throw him in here and then okay i see that's no value whatever and then we'll throw this second round pick in here this second round pick in here all this robert one's agree this like how we got one from the team as our backup so i love that that makes isaiah jackson i don't think we're gonna bring him back and we should be out looking to tend to drop pick 30. They got to turn salary cap off. So, pick 30. We have Bam. We have Floyd. We have Jaden. Of course, they're all setters. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind taking a big, obviously. Um, I mean, I don't, okay, so all NBA, this Floyd guy, Bill Walton. I would love a mini Bill Walton on my team. Willis Reed, um, Brandon Garrison. I don't really want to take a center. That's the thing. We just really traded for one. So I, I guess I'm going to take Isaac Amundsen. I don't know, bro. We're going to take him, though. 69 overall. Can I two-way him? No, I can't. So team playoffs, we got Benedict Matherin. We got Ben Shepard. We're going to accept Jairus Walker. Johnny Furphy is just a new and I'll bring back. Qualifying offers as A.J. Jackson. I'll extend it. But free agency, we Caruso the free agent. So I wouldn't, I mean, signing him wouldn't be too bad. We obviously have our own free to worry about. That guy being Miles Turner. So I am willing to pay him. Um, 20 million across four years, 
similar to like when Nick Clatt, or I guess Nick Clatt's got more money, but you know, a similar contract to that if you know, so we we'll, like I said, bring back Miles Center, and we have Tyrese Halliburton, TJ McConnell, we have Andrew Nimhart, Ben, ben Shepard, we have Benedict Madden and Neesmith, Smith, we have Siakam, Obi Toppin, Garrison Walker, and we have Turner Avalon. Maybe getting a better backup, because a better backup there is really important for this game. Maybe all we needed was a better backup big, and then I expect McConnell to progress. We have a lot of guards to take a spot away. It shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And then at the deadline, um, if we're still not, and if he's still, I'm not, if there's something we can do, I actually do want to stop it. Unless we're like incredible, unless we're like amazing enough we were last year, I guess we'll just want to not stop at the deadline. But I actually have an idea what we could do if we did stop at the deadline. Isaiah Jackson came back, which is cool. Um, we got Nimhar going up, Turner going up, we have Neesmith going up, Jairus Walker going up, we got Isaiah Jackson, TJ McConnell is progressing, as expected. We got Johnny Furphy, Justin Newman, Isaac going up, we have 20 players in our team, no, we don't, perfect, all right. So now, I guess what we'll do is we'll take this to the deadline, right? Well, no, we're not doing much, obviously, it's because I feel like this getting a better backup center will, you know, solve all of this. Seth James Wiseman had incredible value. We were able to get a guy like Robert Williams, so that's what I love about that. And then, like I said, the injury, the injury issues are there, but injuries are off in 2K, so, or I put them off. So Halliburton, Nimhard, Mather, Siak, and Turner, Robert Williams will be top at Aaron Neesmith. And that does leave Jairus Walker out there, Chase, as well as Ben Shepard, as well as T.J. McCon. Okay. Um... All right, we're going to run a 10-minute rotation, I guess. 10 rotation again. Um, I do want to play Jairus Walker, and I guess at least TJ McConnell. We are, we just extended him, so it is weird. But I we can't keep Jairus Walker out of rotation forever, man. We just can't. So I guess they'll leave TJ McConnell out of it, man. And I guess his salary at the deadline becomes a lot better, not going to lie. So I guess he does have a... Yeah, so... We'll probably, yeah, well, we're 100% stopping that. Like that. We can't have somebody under contract that's literally not playing at all. So that's what we'll do. We'll stop at the deadline. It's all good. Right now, we're not really too good. Hope you'll we'll pick a backup. There we go. We're at the deadline. We're the one seeding. We're 33 and 18. And I still do want to make a trade, and that will include TJ McConnell. And uh, apparently, Isaiah Jackson has a three year deal. When did I give him this? I thought it was a qualifying. Oh, okay, I guess I know. I guess they matched the contract while I was simulating. Bro, assistant, oh, why is my assistant GM matching contracts when I didn't tell him to? I, I don't I guess he thinks he controls the team now. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, well, let's get a, what I'm looking to get is probably like a, I mean, I would, like I said, a backup point guard would be needable so if Deji McConnell wasn't playing. But I do want to get a win. I know we have a lot of forwards as it is right now, but... If we can get like an established starting small forward using Neesmith's contract and TJ McConnell, that will give us at least 15 million, I believe so, or even something like that. So that would give us, um, that would give us money to maybe trade for somebody. So see who's like making like 15 million. Let me just put him in a trade finder, so or the player finder. So where's the salary? Okay, here it is. So um, here it is. All right, so. Somebody's making at least, we're gonna have to go down a lot, but somebody's making 15 million. All right, so 15, at least 15 million or something like that. Um, doesn't even matter, any player, I mean, we can get a maybe position type, um, like small forward slash pal, like, yeah, so something like that. So who's making that? Obviously, not gonna be able to get Brandon Miller. Obviously, not gonna be able to get Thompson. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to get Shane Sharp. Obviously, better right now, there's on our team. All right, now, nah, okay, so even Chenzo would be an option. Okay, Herbert Jones would be not really getting a lot of the guys I would have in. So I would have interest in acquiring Herbert Jones and even Chenzo. More Herbert Jones, though. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, but that's really it. Obviously, that's really it. So Herbert Jones might be the guy we get. I actually really love that addition. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to small four power four now. So obviously no, obviously no, obviously no. Um uh no. Alright, Benedict Matherin, Asar, Whitmore, yeah, we're getting to like the Maybe it doesn't have to be 15 mil. Maybe we can just, you know, put up the small four, power four. So, okay. So, uh, we have to put that back up to that many. I, I have no clue. But I guess I have to put it back up to that. The max salary spot. Then we just go ahead and see any small four powers in the offer. So, Giannis. Actually, there's a lot of options. I'm not going to lie with you. So, um, all right. Nobody really that's intriguing. I'm not going to lie with you. Uh, but I would usually go off with Mikael Bridges in this scenario, but since he's on the Knicks. Alright, 
So, um, Derek White, I mean, he just signed an extension with Boston, though. So, like, I, I don't know. Michael Porter, um, Anthony Simon, Shaden Sharp, Paul George, Bain. I think we go after Herbert Jones. I'm not going to lie. Herbert Jones will be our best get. So, let's go after Herbert Jones. Um, averaging seven points, two to you know, assist string, 37% three, and almost two steals per game. That's really why I want him because of the defense. He fit perfectly. So I'm going to trade Neesmith in this scenario. Um, Neesmith is averaging seven points, three, nine. It's like he did a really good three-point shooter, but I just want to get more, you know, two-way players in the building. So I will be willing to trade Neesmith, and then we probably, uh, we can trade like a minimum in there. So Kim McConnell is more so Neesmith, a second, and McConnell for Herbert Jones, as they do agree. Um, you could already, we might need to trade a first snare, but they said yes, so that's not my, not my decision, bro. So... All right, how would the rotation look like? I'm gonna just see something, but I actually have an idea. So Herbert Jones will come off the bench, right? I, don't, I feel like he will be less effective coming off the bench. In the starting five, he will be the most effective. I just feel that way. So what we can do is Nimhar might have to push the bench. I'm not gonna lie. 12 points, 48, 42%. It would suck too, but uh, I, all right. So what we're gonna do is Obi top and go up at small forward. He does so. Move him to small forward, right? They're gonna be really powerful. I'm gonna have to fix this out. So, Nimhard, um, it'll be Tyrese Halliburton. I have to move Nimhard to point guard. We're gonna have to have him come off the bench. It will suck pretty bad, but um, we're just gonna have to do that now. We're trying to upgrade better. Um, he was playing really good, man. It'll suck to have him push the bench. 40, 42 percent, three, six assists, one steal. Uh, yeah, I just did that so we could even out the rotation a bit, but. Is it the right thing now? So, okay, someone's out of the rotation. We're not playing Isaiah Jackson, but I don't know why I even had that contract. So, all right. Rotation is Halliburton, Herbert Jones, Matherin, Siakam, Turner, Obi Toppin, Robert Williams, Nimhart, Jairus Walker, and Ben Shepard. Is that a better rotation? Does that even it out a bit? I think it does, in my opinion. It sucks Nimhart only getting 18 minutes now, but this is what we're going to have to do. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Now we're the ones. Let's keep it going. Who goes your MVP, man? Give it to somebody else at this point, man. I feel like it's been a couple of videos where you won the MVP like every single year. But at the end of the season, with the two seats, we did fall off a bit, but it's cool. I mean, the Knicks, obviously. But okay, we got the Raptors around. Went with quickly. Jacoby Walter, RJ, Scotty Barnes, and Yakum. Oh, Grady Dick. All right. All right, here we go. They want to start Ben Shepard over Herbert Jones. Bro, I, I know at the, this point, man, I don't even know if that's even the right decision. But now I'm at rotation. Can we beat the Raptors as we are going to go down and beat a one to the John Raptors of all teams, man? I'm uh, amazing. I couldn't be better. Now they want to not start. You no, know I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mess with that at this point. Then we're already in the game. He wants to just. So here we go. Uh, maybe I should have messed with it. How we're gonna get blown out by the Raptors once we come back? But no, we're going to get along by the Raptors round one. Amazing. Couldn't be better, right? Blown up by the, of all teams, a playing team, and even worse, just the Raptors. Okay. Um, that, whatever, man. I was just about it. Let's see. Any other time, man, they'd be in the finals beating me every year. But when I rebuild them, we suck. Okay. Makes sense. So that's my luck. All right. We got the Pelicans getting one. Um, we got Magic, Semi Sacred, Blazers, Thunder. And I don't even know if we have a pick in this draft. I feel like it matter at this point, so. Rick Carla would be due a fire, in my opinion, after a season like that. There are some really good head of coaches out there, man. I am going to fire Rick Carla. I know he's been a head of coach of this team for a long time, but uh, bro. can we get Nick Nurse to replace the team? Now, actually, he's a fantastic guy to replace him. I'll offer you even more money, man, because I, I just, you know, I'm not even trying to be cheap at this point. I just want a good head coach, even a better one. So I'm going to offer you the most money I could. He's going to sign it so that we get Nick Nurse to be our head coach. And then Queen's Todd, you want to be an assistant? Hurry up and sign. Hurry up and sign. He gets your sign the first day. Um, all right, Bill Ups is here. I mean, I guess we can grab an assistant. I mean, Phil Handy, Lakers legend. You want to come be an assistant here, bro? I mean, I'll offer you. We got Phil Handy to be an assistant. Honestly, if you don't know who Phil Handy is, man, I'm so confused. This, and this is not him. This is not his face cam by any means. But is that even the real? Yeah, that's that's the real one, right? But if you don't know, that's one of my. Um, one of my, it was one of my favorite head coaches from Kobe was a Laker, I believe he was still there. Uh, not even head coach, my favorite assistant or player development coach. I don't know why the Lakers let him go. 
but you know, we're signing him as an assistant now. You'll, you guys are, you guys will see soon how good he is. But we do have pick a second round pick. I should just let the assistant GM do this, but whatever. We'll get the best player available. Get Tyus. So Jarrett Walker, Ben Shepard, qualifying offers. We got Benedict Matherin. And heading into free agency, we have Benedict Matherin, which. Asking for a lot, but I am gonna all well, pay him 25 million. I feel like that's fair. I mean, he's you got him John to the player we all thought he was gonna be, but at this point, it's cool, man. Robert Williams always saw as well. Because, uh, we obviously need our backup center, right? So, Robert Williams, better at Mather, lock them up long term. He didn't pay Rob a lot of money, which is cool. And we still have an MLE, apparently. So, we have Tyrese Homber and Nimpard. We have Herbert Jones, Ben Shepard. Um, Benedict will be topping. We have Pascal Siakam. Maybe we can get a better shooter. It'll be top if I really like he's shooting 35%. So then I feel like it's another year of development from our guys. I and mean, we should be actually really good. If there's anything we need to do, I don't think Ben Shepard has been developing really too nicely or playing too nicely for us. I guess one thing we could do is like maybe get a better shooting guard. So we'll see what we can get there. Zaya Joe, not really good options. Marcus Smart would actually be a decent option moving to the two. I'll leave Ben Shepard out of the rotation actually. But it's time to feel that he'll develop, man. I don't know. I, I love the side smart, like really, really he can fit for these. Yeah, I knew it. It's just um this um player system proficiency match it's matching like crazy. So, so you know, I would love to get Marcus Smart. I'm gonna offer him something. I don't even care if he, I don't even care. Man. I'm gonna offer him a contract. So, I'm offering him this nine million one plus one. I know he's like 30, 32 at this point. We're gonna get smart. All right, that's so what I love. Uh, Marcus Smart, welcome to the team. And then, all right, we should be got that. Hopefully, development is really nicely for us. We can move Nimhard to the two. If Ben Shepard doesn't develop, then we're cooked. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. He didn't develop at all. All right, so we we'll move Marcus Smart to the two, or even Ben Shepard to the two. And then, not, not, we'll move Andrew Nimhard or Marcus Smart to the two. And then we'll have a really good defensive front court off the bench, and then we should be ready to. I'm not going to be trading Siak or anything like that. And then maybe, like I said, maybe Miles Turner will be in the hot seat next year. If you know, if we do something like that again, maybe I to trade Miles Turner. So Halliburton, Herbert Jones, Benedict Matherin, Siakam, Turner, Robert Williams will be top, and Adrian Nimhard, Jairus Walker. Obviously not, we're obviously gonna play Marcus Smart. So, and then what we'll do is we'll, not Halliburton, my bad, we'll go ahead and move. Nimhard goes, say the same, Smart, um, say the same. So, I mean, it was bigger. I mean, I guess Nimhard is bigger, so we'll move him to the two. We'll move him to the two. It makes more sense. So Nimhard, you will slide to the two. Um, your position originally, I guess. So, um, yeah. So, you know, uh, Halliburton, Jones, like I said, same rotation. Nimhard, the six men, and then Marcus will be the last golf bench. He'll replace Ben Shepard's minutes. Okay, so we'll do something like that. Then we'll send Isaac and Tyus to the G League, which we'll do right now. And also, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. At the end of the season, we're the one seed again. Okay, and we got Miami around with Caleb Foster starting in Carl Light. They only have a 75 starting point guard. I don't think we lose to this team. At 24 from Tyree Tallenberg, 19 from Siakam, 15 from Matherin, 12 and a half from Turner, 12 from Moby Toppin, 12 from Nimhard, 11 from Jared Walker, 7 from Dom Harper Jones, 6 from Robert Williams, 4 from Smart. It's played really good defense, as you can see. Um, can we go ahead and beat the Miami Heat or I want? Oh, I should have shrink the rotation down, but we're gonna beat them in six. I'm gonna sweat. All right, so we got Chicago, Kobe White, Levine, Buzelas, Patrick Warren, Daron Char. I don't think we lose to the Bulls here, man. Let's not. But, and we're gonna go up two to one on them. We're gonna go up three to one on them, and we're gonna beat them at five bar. The Raptors beat us last year, and they got better than the two seed. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm I'm kind of intimidated. I don't know why, but you know, I feel like they could just beat us. So whatever. I felt they're just too good right now. I feel like we need to just you know teach them teach them who's boss, right? At least smart other rotation, which sucks. But um, we have Jared. We have you know we're too deep right now. We're so deep that we have to leave Marcus Smart out of the playoff rotation. I feel bad. If, I, I really do. But um, just other guys, man. But game one. I'm gonna take them to we it up or they okay we're gonna go three to one I don't know why I say even it up but um we're gonna beat them in the five we're in the finals let's go we got uh, um the Thunder with Shea Ace Bailey Dort Jenna Williams Jenna Homer and Casey Wallace Cole Topic Blake Wesley Trey Johnson Cole P Uzma game one 
They're gonna take game two, we even it up game three, we go up two to one, they go up three to two. I'm gonna sim cast this game five. They wanna start Nimhard, so Nimhard is back in their starting five for this one. Come on, man. All right, so now we can see if we can win this game five and go up three to two. As right now, I know we have the lead. We're looking, we're gonna blow them out, but they do start to come back. We're gonna, we're gonna win. All right, one, all three to 91. Now, right now, we're in the lead of the series right now. Can we go and beat them in six? Just, you know, no sweat, go to a game seven, because I do not want to go to a game seven with the Thunder. As we are going to go, oh, that's actually a really close game. Um, Okay, Um, it is now a one-point game. 122, 109, 110, let me hop into it. Dude, we're going to hop into this one and watch it. So, 122, 109, and 110, we could just sit back and watch this game. So... Halliburton with the ball, we have the lead. Obviously, we're leading the series 3 2. Siakam with the ball is gonna dunk it all over Jalen Williams. We're gonna get a poster, so just like that. We're now up by three points. Right now, we're in control of this game. Wait, so oh, I just noticed. So, wait, who do we have in the best? Jairus Walker. All right, this lineup is weird, but I'm not gonna question. All right, here we go. Um, Shea inside, Shea over Halliburton. He's gonna hit that. Wow, that's a tough shot. 81% contested, man. But. Okay, um, Tyrese Halliburton with the ball. Halliburton is going to get the screen. No, he's going to pass. The Siakam is open. Why did he lob it? What are you doing? Oh, no, I'm not even going to get mad, bro. I see what are you trying to do, but you should just pass it normally. As Shea's going to get the ball back. Shea's going to shoot a three, and Shea is going to miss it. Get the rebound. All right, Siakam gets the board. He is going to... Uh, he's bringing the ball up now. Um, we got Siakam. He's going to get the screen by Williams, by Williams. And Siakam is going to drive in the paint. He's going to pass out to Halliburton. Top of the key back to Siakam. And then Siakam's going to go inside, shoot the lamp, and he's going to hit it. So just like that, we're now up, we're now back up three points with Pascal Siakam. And then the other guy, man, Siakam's cooking right now. He could have had another point if Halliburton didn't lob it, but um, at least try to lob it, but... Lou Dort's gonna aim on the ball to Shea. Shea has the ball. He is gonna go ahead and um, I believe he's gonna get a screen by Chet. Yes, he is. Um, Shea is gonna go. Chet gets a wide open dunk. As I mean, that's a really good, obviously, pass IQ, but or screen navigation and stuff. But we're gonna give the ball to Halliburton. Halliburton's gonna get fouled by Shea as that Shea's only second foul. That'll be great if he's getting fouled out, but. Tyrese, free throw number one, he is going to hit it, so great job for them. Tyrese, free throw number two, he is also going to hit He's going to go two for two from the line. As Chet Holmgren, he's going to pass it to Ace Bailey. Okay, so that. The other need a three, and Ace Bailey is going to get the screen by Chet. Ace Bailey gets open, he's going to hit it, bro. Of course he hit that. Now, I, it, was, it was obvious he was making that, I'm not going to lie. Because they, the see, they hit anything. At this time, they just hit anything when it's clutch moments, man. Is this even on Hall of Fame? I don't know. But Siakam going to take the last shot. So it's like, okay. I would prefer you not shoot it. Um, Shoot the three. Yes, you're going to drive in the paint. Siakam. Oh, he's going to miss it. Dylan Williams from that full court. Bro. Okay. He missed it. All right. We're good. Man. Overtime. We could have probably could have got this game over with. Um, But, you know, Ace Bailey. Can't nothing about that, man. Obviously, we're not going to watch this full overtime. That would be fun. But, you know, we still have enough time to do that. Okay, see, I'm going to get the wide open. up in there. I'm not, I'm not watching this. So, Thunder have the lead. Thunder still have the lead. Thunder, okay, we're going to we're gonna watch it. 50. Oh, I meant to hop in. What am I doing? I meant to hop in. That is my bad. I meant to hop in at that time when it was about like 55 seconds left. I thought I hopped it. I didn't need to press simulate more. That's my bad. We're going to foul Shay. What are we doing? Why are we fouling? When there's still a shot clock there and we have so much time, want well, fix your game, 2K, bro. If we foul again, I'm done, and we're gonna foul. What are we doing? Like, why would you foul at that time? I don't know. That makes no sense, bro. No, we, we lost. We obviously lost. Bro. I don't know why we're fouling at a certain time like that where we were only whatever. On to a game seven. Um, all right, let's I mean, get some our rotation now. I really don't want to lose this game. So, Jairus Walker, how is he doing against the Thunder? Let's see. He scored 21 points. Other game has been kind of mediocre. Midi 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 so, I'm going to go eight minute chase. So, game seven. We got to get this done. Man. We have to get this done. All right, here we go. 
backs against the wall, and meditation right now. They have the lead. We gotta come back into. We gotta come back into the game. Oh, no. oh, we're gonna lose the thunder. It's always the thunder ruining every game, bro. I don't understand how you beat this team. I really don't get why 2K. I don't, I don't understand what the glaze is, but probably go one more year on this one. As we got Brooke Club has Paul George, James Harden retiring, Kola Bucevic, but. We have pick 29 again. Man, that sucks. We couldn't win it. But Nick Nurse obviously did an outstanding job as the head coach year number one. Um, looks like he led us to the NBA final, so he deserves every single penny I gave him. So honestly, I don't know. I'll we'll have to get it. Looks like he declined it, so I'll offer you it again as you're going to sign it this time. Okay. We well, have to let the rest of our staff know we are going to. So NBA draft. I don't even care what we take. Let's just let this as a jump take it. They take this guy, um, which I'll, I guess I'll sign him. Smart opted into his deal, which is cool. Isaac and then Tyus. Um, ben Shepard and Dearest Walker. So free agency, uh, we have Dearest Walker asking for 30. 25 million. Uh, ben Shepard don't ask for 5 million. So I can get to that, I guess. Ben Shepard. All right, we have to resign for Jones, obviously. We can maybe hit that to like 15 million. Um, I don't think Dearest Walker would get an offer, right? I doubt he gets an offer, so if he doesn't get off, I'm going to take this to day 12 for Jairus Walker, because let's see, what is his averaging? Okay, that's all from the Sun, so eventually, it should give me the option to match this, right? 11 point, 39 for 36 percent, it should be the option to match it. Is it going to be the option to match it, bro? Okay, they up, they up their offer, so, um, okay, so that, would that be, yeah, so, you know, I'm gonna have to offer him something, man. Uh, I'll offer you 26 million for four years. See if he says to that, and he wants to go to the Sun. It's great. Um, I don't want to offer you more than that. I literally offered you more, or no, I guess we didn't. I guess they offered more money, just you know. Um, okay, I that's what the name. Oh no, he's right there, Jerry Swapper. Okay. Yes, I'll offer you 28 million. It looks like he wanted three years. It was just fair. Um, okay, so something like that. Then if that's the contract you want. You should sign it, right? You sign it. All right, there we go. We get Jairus Walker back because of the player option. Jairus Walker's going to sign that. I guess we got to outbid the Suns, man. So Halliburton, Smart, Herbert Jones, um, Andrew Nimhard. We have better than that. will be topping. Siakam, Jairus Walker, Turner. Um, we'll probably watch the deadline. We made the finals. I think we could just run it back and then see what we do. And at the deadline, I did say we're going to explore Turner trades at the deadline. But like I said, man. Right now, I'm just, I just want to get championship with the Pacers team. Mabinyama is your MVP. If you don't win this year, I'm going to go one more year on the other side. But with a two seed, as we got Charlotte Flamello, Malachi Banner, Banner, Militar, and Stokes. And we're starting at 70, bro. If we lose this, we lose to a team starting Chris Sinney, I'm done, bro. Right. Like, what, what do you mean? Is this 2020, this is 2027, right? Yes, this is. No, right? We're, we're not, I don't have to you know, even sweat it, right? There's no way we lose the. I'm gonna run this back one right here, man. I, I don't understand. I just don't get it about this. Other like watch watching the next rebuild. Yeah, they're gonna at least win the watch, watch, but watching the next rebuild, they're gonna be dominant. They're gonna beat me at least one time. And the next rebuild that we do, watch, bro. Or the next new look rebuild that we do, they're probably gonna like that. Now Nick Nurse, I'm gonna he's I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him for at least we're out of one more year left. I'm gonna keep him. This is not his fault. But we're probably gonna trade Miles around this point. Daryl Davis, um, we're probably gonna trade Miles Turner because at this point, Turner, um, I, and, and if, even if I don't want to, because even if we did, we have to get like the best replacement. But he's only the Packers only make a twenty million is great, and I just want to get like a replacement, like not even a like yeah, you know what I mean? It's a replacement, like a center that can like a better version of Miles Turner, basically. So he's a really good rim protector, right? Average three boss per game in the, uh, the year 2021. So what I want is I want a probably a better score than him, a better rebounder than him, um, same rim protecting value as him, and same three point shooting, which might be hard to get. I'm gonna take a long look at the NBA, see what we can get. Couple options, man. Um, one of them I guess you could include Alpin Shangu, maybe. I like, can't rim protect. That's the thing. The only option I had in mind. Is a Victor Wimbenyama. That was the first option that came to mind, but Wimby, I, we, we have to start being serious and say Wimby is not getting traded to the Pacers. And that's really it. Then, oh, it was Chris Osborne's against. He would kind of compliment it, but 
Yeah, he would. He definitely would compliment the Mall server. He's just a better overall, so I guess we can do this. Um, turn we can maybe get like a third guy. So Miles Turner and the Professor Porzingis, right? Um, all right, they're not the catch mode. Great. We will throw in there. We will throw Isaiah Jackson in the trade. We will throw the rookie, and then we will throw a 2029 first round pick. See what they say to that as they do the con, which is fair. We will throw, um, we have to throw Ben Shelton, though, Daryl Davis in here. They still do decline. I will throw a second as they still do decline. Interesting. Maybe we can throw Isaac in there. We can opt into his deal, Isaac's deal, and then we can trade him. All right, so we're going to do that for a second. Surprise, we're not saying yeah. I mean, Porzingis is really good. I'm not surprised we're not saying yes to this, but if nothing, we'll include like Shepard. So I wish to they will let you opt into deal before the draft. It sucks, but. Yeah, all right, so let's go back to the Boston Celtics. Let's talk about a Porzingis trade again. So, Miles Turner, uh, Isaiah Jackson, Robert Williams still on the team, right? Okay, yeah, Isaiah Jackson, um, Daryl Davis, and then Isaac has a two-star value. So, that trade, they still say no. Although, 2029, first round pick in here, they still say no. Not we'll the trade two first. Uh, all right, hey, it's like that. You can trade a lot of players, but Porzingis is now a Indiana Pacer. Um, I guess he can compliment that, right? He can compliment Turner, two-way, three-level score. Let me see, what is Turner's build? Let me see. Turner is a three, okay, he's a glass cleaner. So I guess he could, he's a better rebounder, I guess, so. All right, so I guess I like that. So, um, this will be your rotation still. We'll just, you know, run it back, I guess, in you know, playoffs. So I could have just opted in, like, right there. I don't know why. I thought we were before the draft, that's my bad. But Jaws a free agent, but Siakam, I'm going to resign. Um, and then Obi Toppin has to offer from the Warriors, which obviously we're matched that if we could. And we're getting back. All right, so Siakam and Obi Toppin. I don't want to run out Smart just yet. But um, all right, so Smart, he's still here. We can bring him back, which I will do. Marcus Smart for a mineral contract. So steal. Oh, what a steal. Welcome back. Then play a progression. Hopefully it looks good. High is coming back. We have Siakam going down or whatever. All right, so for the final season, we're the one seed again. So we were even better now with Porzingis. Or I don't even know. We're been the one seed the whole year. You haven't been able to do much at all. Nine-man rotation. Utilization down. Good shrink it again. We're going to rob out at this point. But got Cleveland around one. Mitchell, they got Dalton Connett now. They have Evan Boldly, Jared Allen, Tracy Jackson Davis, Mo Bonner, De Silva. Oh, alright. We're, we're gonna sweep them. Alright, thank goodness. Our team actually used to be scared of me. But now we got Orlando. Subs, Ian Jackson, Franz Bonner, Paolo, Floyd, Cameron Boozer off the bench, bro. Am I, if I was the Magic, if, and if I was this team, I would probably play Cameron Boozer at my big, my center spot. You see if they've been doing that. They have actually. Never mind. All right, so that could have made more sense, but who knows? Jet Howard, Kalfa, Philip Housky, Isaiah Evans, Jonathan Isaac. All right, can we get the Orlando Magic? We're gonna go on the even series with them. We're gonna hop in the Simcats. They want to start Herbert Jones, whatever. All right, here we go. Okay. So right now it's a really close game. Still a close game. Right now we have our feet on the pedal to win this game. As we're gonna lose it, clearly. As soon as I say that, um, now we're down three to one to the Magic. Oh, come on, man! I just, I just wanna get a championship out of this, man. We're, we've been sucking the entire video. We're glad it's not gonna. Unless we can come back at the end, which we do. Can we win it though? Can we win it? Can we win it? Can we win it? As we go. Everyone doesn't play Detroit, so they wanna go back and starting them hard. Okay, make up your freaking decision, man. Here we go. All right. Um, right now it's a close game, and it's still a close game. Right now we, they have the lead, they still have the lead, they still have the lead, and we're just gonna go home. Once again, I'm not surprised, the Pacers are... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I have to do. So I feel like for the past two couple of years we have, we have, I put together really good teams, we can't win a freaking playoff series, man. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.